Title, My Life, My Death, Reality Show TV Pilot, by Mike Dragu. My Life, My Death. When you die, what happens? Not to you, but to those left behind. This is an original idea behind the reality series titled, My Life, My Death. The premise is that each week, someone would attend their own funeral. What would people say at your funeral? How did you impact their lives? Did we become the person we wanted to? It would be a powerful representation of how you've touched the lives of the people around you and what you've meant to them in ways even you didn't know. Although the premise is a little morbid, the show is about one thing, love. It would be an uplifting view of how our everyday interactions affected the people around us. It will show how our family, friends, and co-workers are connected, and what we did really does matter to those around you. People would get a chance to tell how much they love and care for the person who would be picked as the deceased. The idea of a funeral may sound depressing for a premise, but many moments during the funeral are funny, reflective, and entertaining. The show would be the same. The format is simple. Each week, one person is featured and would attend their own funeral. We will call them the deceased. Just as when someone dies, they will not be there to be involved in the planning. Any input the deceased has in what takes place would have to have been given before their fake death. The show would send the person away from all that is happening for the week leading up to the actual funeral. They would come back and watch the funeral while on camera from the back room or a private viewing area with the host of the show. The show is seen through the eyes of the people still living and their point of view. The deceased would be chosen by their own family or friends for the show. The deceased would never be the ones to pick themselves. They would be nominated by people close to them as a way to honor the impact they've had on their lives. Now, sometimes you can never repay or truly show someone what they've done to enrich your life and make it worth living. Everyone knows someone that deserves a moment in the spotlight. The show is the way to do that. This would be a half hour show broken into three segments, allowing for the commercial breaks during that time. Segment one would be family and friends telling why this person was chosen and what their history is. It will cover their life, who they are, why the people around are inspired to throw a funeral and honor them, what impact they had. It will cover their childhood and what life was like growing up, work history, hobbies, and all the little details that go into life, how they met their spouse, how they raised their kids. All of this is told by first-person accounts and never by the deceased. Remember, the person has passed away and cannot speak for themselves. The deceased is up until the final minutes of the show, will not be heard from or filmed discussing anything that is happening on camera. It is important not to break from the format and keep consistent with the idea that it is a funeral for someone that has passed away. Segment two would involve planning. It is something that hasn't been discussed before on a television show. It would be an interesting way to tell more about the person and how the people left behind would put on a funeral. What music do they feel you would like? Would they choose something they would want you to be buried in? What clothes would they choose to have you buried in? This segment would give the family and friends time to tell stories about the deceased and would also explore the themes of what happens to survivors after death. Are people prepared for a loss of a loved one financially? Or are they relying on that person to help care for them? What happens to the living in the next week, month, and year after a death? A widowed spouse or an only child who lost their last parent. How will their lives change now? Segment three would be the actual funeral. Again, we will see the deceased viewing the funeral from a private area. People would speak, a slideshow, and other ways to showcase the person's life would be shown. It would be an actual funeral setting with a coffin up front and a photo of the person in front of it. The people attending would get a chance to speak and we would get to hear how the deceased helped them in some way. Anything from being a good parent to being a leader in the community. They don't have to be a superhero, just a good person that was there for family and friends. When the funeral is over, the deceased will come out from the private area and appear in front of everyone for hugs and kisses. At this point, they can have a final few words for everyone in attendance of what they felt during the presentation. End of episode.
Now, why do people enjoy shows like Extreme Home Makeover, Undercover Boss, and even the episodes on Survivor when the contestants are reunited with their family members? Because they want to know that they're still good in the world. You want to cry tears of joy at the end of the episode and know that your life matters to someone and you aren't alone. This show gives someone a chance to hear how much they are loved while they're still here to hear it. The funeral setting is the twist and the selling point. The water cooler talk in every workplace in the country will be, did you hear about the show where you go to your own funeral? They tune in for the curiosity and stay for the emotions and happiness the show brings them each week. The suffering and heartache that takes place during the course of anyone's normal life is extreme. Life is hard and people want to be reminded that they matter and people want other people to know that their lives are worth so much more than they knew. So, who would be picked for the show? The truth is that almost everyone is qualified. Everyone dies and that qualifies you right there. The premise of the show is to tell the story of how you've affected, in a positive way, the people around you. The death of a 22-year-old is more tragic and disturbing than the death of an 88-year-old. It could work in some instances, but having someone too young as the deceased wouldn't feel right. The deceased would almost always be a middle-aged or older person. Race, social status, and appearance would play no factor in who should be chosen. The best candidate would be a person who has lived their life the best way they knew how. Again, everyone dies, everyone qualifies. One episode could show 800 people attending the funeral and another could show eight people attending. If you die and only eight people show up, that doesn't mean you weren't the most important person in the lives of those eight people. The purpose of the show isn't to have a contest to see how many people you can get to show up to your funeral. I do see the show having a host, a Ty Pennington or Jeff Prost type. It gives the people putting on the funeral someone to chat with and discuss why they are doing this and why they would want to put themselves through such an emotional toll. The host is a bridge between the viewer and the family to bring up topics and keep the conversation going. Why would you bury them in cowboy boots? What makes them such a great parent or spouse to you? Why did you ask to have the Frank Sinatra song, My Way, played when they died? The host would sit next to the deceased during the funeral in the private viewing and both would be on camera if the person watching wanted to comment on something said during the proceeding. Everyone that would be on the show is aware of what's happening. There are no tricks, that what is taking place is real and that there is an actual death. No shock factor, the deceased is aware but they can't be hands on. Remember to keep the show consistent with reality with what has been designed. What the show shouldn't be is people trying to perform for the cameras. Someone juggling or dancing during a funeral probably really isn't going to happen at a real funeral. But if someone wants to play the trumpet because they were in a local band with the deceased for 25 years, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. As long as it isn't just for show and drawing attention to themselves, anything goes if it really would happen. This would not be a show for regular network television. The History Channel, TLC, Discovery, PBS, A&E, Biography, and Oxygen are all networks that would be a perfect fit for a show of this topic. The show will have no religious or political angle and probably best if neither came into play. There are shows for that already. The other great thing about this show is that it wouldn't be costly to produce and with the simple format could be done easily in other countries and parts of the world. In every corner of the world, people die and mourn. This show would have the power each week to make the viewer laugh, cry, and take a moment to think about their own lives. And the audience would tune in each week to do just that.